Alright, Sean Bernard, and welcome back to this episode of GGTV. And today we're working on my girl Sparkle. She's so beautiful, she loves herself. I honestly cannot tell you the importance of a bath. It is really so, so important. So on her today, we're using some Blue Bliss by Wall. It's a great product, I really love it. I love how she's all nice and blue right now. I always give them two really, really good scrubs in the bathtub, and then uh, I do a deep conditioning with this Easy Groom by Wall Showman. Both really good products, the fun parts of being in Poodle Land. Uh, I just really can't stress to you guys how important, really spend your time in the bathtub. So here we are after two good baths and a deep conditioner. I'll generally towel dry them very well, let them have a good shake and have a little rest for a few minutes. Then we get them back up on the table and start with the high velocity dryer. A few mistakes that I see you making is whipping the hair around. Generally, it just creates mats and we'll put the dog in edge because of the loud noises. So try using a more methodical method when you're going about it. If you notice, we're using a straight line and getting straight down to the skin. I'd like to make one recommendation. If you do have a nervous dog on the table with the high velocity dryer, I like to use something called a happy hoodie. They're very reasonably priced, but they make a huge difference. And make sure you guys are wearing your ear protection. I personally have ear damage because of not wearing it over the years. So definitely make sure you've got your headset on for your own personal protection. So you're gonna go through the entire dog the same fashion. This is going to take a bit of time. This dog is in a lot of hair. So this is probably from start to finish going to take you at least two full hours just for the bath and the blow dry to do it properly. And that's if you have experience. So if you're an owner out there and you're just starting out, be patient with yourself. These things take time. You have to do it often and practice. And that's really going to make a difference. Fast forward 20 minutes. Now we're making some headway. You can see how she's really starting to fluff up. I feel like I say this all the time, but it's very important from the bathtub, conditioning, fluffing, and combing. All of these things affect your haircut. Do them properly for you to be effective. So you can see at this stage, she's fairly fluffed out. Now I'm gonna go back again, and I'm gonna finish with my hot dryer. So make sure you put your ear protection on. And I always use a, a hand dryer, but it certainly works the same if you, if you use a stand dryer. I just show dogs for 30 years, so I always like the hand dryer. The way I like to do it, I tuck it in under my neck. A lot of people uh, will put it into their apron, something like this. And then another way, some people do it like this. So I'm not too sure. I personally do it right here, but it's kind of up to you. fluff drying everybody hates fluff drying and you are all overlooking this it's so important i normally will use my dryer on the medium setting you need to be very careful and watch that you're not brush burning them brush burn is a very serious thing that i wanted to bring to your attention especially for owners you want to watch that you're not raking the brush over their skin you will make it red and it will immediately you'll see it so you need to back off and make sure you're not putting direct heat right on the skin. Just be very cautious and keep your eye on that. Just a word of caution, not to scare you, just to make you aware. So we're coming to the end. You notice she is laying down. If you can train them to do this, it will make your job so much easier and their job more relaxing. She's bath. She's blow dried. We got her fluffed out. Seriously, take this tip from me. This is so important. At this point in time, I'm just going to go back. And this is just a nice little conditioning spray, fairly light, a leave-in uh, conditioner by Pet Silk. I quite like it. And you're going to do a line brush and a comb. So when you're line brushing and combing, you're splitting the hair. And I really like these All System Slickers. I still love them. I've been using them for, for my whole life. And you want to create a little line. And then you're going to go through that same line with your comb. And you can see all these snarly bits that I'm getting out. That's what you need to do. You need to go around the whole dog. And get, it's called line brushing and combing. This will take a little practice, but you will get good at it. Work in one inch sections. Use your brush first. Then you're going to go back with your comb. 
easy at first. You're going to use a leave-in conditioner to break the steps. Each one of these steps is very important. You're going to go through the entire dog in the same fashion. You really need to pay attention to behind the ears, in the armpits, in the groin. These especially are areas where you will get mats. If you do this on a regular basis, they're going to be in great shape. You're going to want to go through this process at least every two weeks, every 10 days if you can. Follow these tips and your dog's going to be in great shape. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you have a video idea, drop it in the comments. Thank you so much from GGTV.